Win your first three clients fast. Hey, what's up? This is Pete Scott here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what you need to do if you're just getting started in a business and how you can basically win your first three clients. It's specifically useful if you're becoming a personal trainer, if you're a graphic designer, or if you're a beauty therapist or consultant, or you basically offer some kind of service. Now, what I will also add is that this is without the need to become a hashtag Insta famous or hashtag influencer or become a guru on Facebook and have to be posting 600 times a day. This is a straightforward approach. And by the end of this video, you will have five simple steps in order for you to show up for your target market, be able to serve them and help them and ultimately be able to win your first three clients fast. So without any delay, let's get into it. And by the way, before we do, make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's get into this video. Step number one, be clear on the transformation that you create for your clients. Most of the time when we're thinking about what we want to offer, we are quite simply thinking about what we want to offer. Now that might sound like inception. You think to yourself, hold on a second, Pete, if I'm a personal trainer, then surely I'm offering personal training. What if I was to say to you that the personal training isn't actually about the personal training or the graphic design isn't about the graphic design and the coaching isn't about the coaching. More importantly, it's about the outcome that you provide for your client. I've seen this so many times over the years and helping quite a few people along the way to transform their business is that they get caught up in the thing that they actually offer. And they think, well, I'm offering this service, so I need to be talking about personal training or I need to be talking about the consulting that I do. Hold on a second. There is an easier route to market. And in this video, I want you to go as quickly from here, the start point, to serving your first three clients. And in order to do that, it starts with knowing what are the outcomes you provide for a client? I'll share very quickly that when I first started as a consultant specializing in sales transformation for companies, I first went to companies and I was trying to sell sales training. And I was showing up on their doorstep, literally calling them and saying, would you like sales training? Literally no company wanting to work with me. And I started to get to a point where I thought, hold on a second, if I do sales training and I can't even sell my own sales training, then I shouldn't be a sales trainer. So instead, I went back to the drawing board and focused on what I actually taught. So I started to practice what I preach. And it was, well, what's the outcome that I create for companies? And it is to transform their sales. And I could do it within three to six months or if they're a larger company, I could do it within a year. And I didn't have too much in-depth knowledge at that time, but I knew that I could create this sales transformation. So instead of focusing on the, I wanna be the sales trainer, I got clear on the transformation that I created for companies. So for you, whether you work with individuals or you work with companies, the first step in winning your first three clients is not to worry about getting those first three clients, it's to be clear on the outcome that you can create for those clients. Step number two is to start testing and actually giving proof that your solution works. In other words, you can create the outcome or the transformation that you promise. Because at the end of the day, if you approach anybody and say, hey, I've got this great service I can offer you, the first thing that they're going to do is think if they don't say it, well, who else have you helped to achieve that result? So this is why this step is so important in the process. Going back to when I first started as a consultant, I realized early on that sure enough, I had helped a lot of people over the years. However, I needed to test my theory in other industries. I needed to know that I could deliver upon my sales methodologies outside of my employment. So I went to work simply helping people and documenting the process along the way. I'll never forget actually working with one particular business and I said, look, I'll help you for free. I just wanna get started. I know I can help you, but also I wanna test my theory that it actually creates the result. And I didn't know anything about vlogging back in those days. And unfortunately, I don't know where this video is today, but I literally vlogged the entire day of what I did with that company. I then tracked all of their progress. I asked them to send me a daily report. And 30 days later, I actually went back to that business. I filmed the result. I interviewed the business owner and I asked for her to share the results that they had achieved in their business as a result of the training that I had done. The good news was that it validated that, hey, my theory 
actually worked. And once I got three or four companies on board with this, I was like, wow, I can actually do this. And then the result was I was building all of these case studies. So this is why the second step is to actually prove your theory. Now, I don't want you to run at a loss here. In other words, if you need to provide products which cost you money, you need to make sure that you charge for those products. However, to get up and running, the most important thing you do is ensure that you test your transformation. You see someone go all the way through it. In fact, you see three, four, even 10 people go through it or companies. And then from there, that's gonna put you in a much more confident and stronger position. Think about it. If you haven't got a client yet, then the biggest challenge that you have is getting your first client or your first three clients. So you can eliminate that problem straight away by saying, right, I'm gonna test my transformation with three people that I know or five people that I know. And by the way, there's more steps to get those paying clients in today's video, but this is a great way to get up and running because you're going to have that social proof, those case studies in place, and you're going to naturally step into your authority. Step number three is now you can start offering a paid on results service. So quite literally what you do is you get paid when you achieve the result with your client. Now, don't get me wrong, you've got to make sure that you have the right client. You may have to qualify your client before you start working with them. You may need them to go through some hoops, but you say, look, in order to work with you, I'm not even gonna charge you until you've got the result. That's how confident I am that I can help you. And the reason why this is so important is because the risk either remains on the side of the seller, that's you, or the side of the buyer customer. And the problem is that usually we expect the risk to remain on the side of the buyer and why the customer is feeling they're taking all the risk. They've got to invest in you. Sure, you've got a few case studies, but how do they guarantee that you'll be able to bring the result? And that means that it makes it much more difficult for them to buy in and trust your solution. Now, I'm not saying we just go out there and offer your paid on results service to everybody. You might do that later on, but at this stage, certainly select a few clients that you want to work with and say, right, I will help them for free and they can pay me when I get the result. My first ever 11, yes, 11 paying clients only paid me once I got the result. And again, it comes back to that reason. I was approaching companies, I wasn't getting anywhere. I remember I set it up this way because I had no money at the time and I thought to myself, right, if I get 10 clients, I can make 10,000 pound really quickly because I'll get each one once they achieve the result to pay me a thousand pound. It was just the figure that popped into my head at the time. And very quickly, I was able to find 11 companies in the specific industry that I'd already worked in as an employee. And that made a huge difference. So I went from zero clients to 11 clients, not just three rapidly. From there, I sat down with each business owner and I said, right, okay, this is the result that I feel I can bring you through my sales transformation over 90 days. And if you achieve that result within 90 days, just pay me a thousand pounds. And it involved me going into the company, training their team, working with the leadership just for a day. And then I supported them remotely over a 30 day period until they got the result. And if we needed to continue, then we would up to 90 days. But the cool thing is, is that 10 out of 11 companies didn't pay me within 90 days or three months. They actually paid me within three weeks because they saw the result in their business and therefore they were happy to pay. So I went from zero to 10,000 pound in my account and I'm like, this is working. And that allowed me also to have more logos, more companies I'd worked with on my website. So it doesn't need to be rocket science, but a paid on result service can be a total game changer because it removes the risk from your client and it puts the risk on you. But if you're so good at what you do, then you wanna take that risk. You wanna show, hey, I'm here to help you. In another video, I'll share a lot more about risk reversal because it's not just about taking the risk away by being paid later. There's many ways that we can do a risk reversal. In fact, me having this YouTube channel is in itself risk reversal because it means I can post videos and people can learn from me for free. It's no risk for them. If they don't like my videos, they can go and learn from somebody else. It's okay. However, at this stage, what I want you to focus on is this paid on results service. Step number four, know the transformational journey you create for your clients from start all the way through to completion. Now, what I mean by this is that through those clients you're working with, document everything. 
It starts with the first point of contact. Why did they get in contact with you in the first place? Or how did you reach out to them? And why was it that that client or that company took an interest in what you have to offer? And then from there, during the consultation or the meeting, what sort of questions did you ask that really got that client thinking on a deeper level about their problem and also about the solution required to move forward? all the way through to what was easy during the transformation process with that client. What did they find difficult? What surprises showed up? The amount of times I've worked with companies or with individuals to help them on a transformational sales level, and there's been pleasant surprises. There's been things that are a lot easier than me and the client both expected. There's also been things that have been a little bit more challenging. But as you start to document the entire process from the moment that client hears about you to the time that they've actually created that transformation, it means that you can create this entire methodology behind what you do. And that is going to give you so much more confidence moving forward because you're not helping clients by accident. You're doing it very deliberately and you're creating a pride tested and proven methodology or step-by-step -step framework in how you help your clients. And finally, step number five is to take with confidence your transformation methodology to the marketplace. You're clear on your transformation, you've tested and you've gained the proof that it actually works. You've gone out there, you've offered a risk reversal where you've taken the risk away from those initial clients and you've been paid a few times on result. And on top of that, you've documented the entire transformational journey from start to finish. You are now at that point where you're ready to truly go to market and scale up in a massive way. However, this video is about you winning your first three clients fast. Now, we haven't just covered how you get your first three clients fast. We've actually looked at this from a robust business and sales strategy approach. And by step number five, I'm sure you'll be feeling all the confidence in the world and you'll have the evidence to back it up. So that's my video for today. If you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, check out all these other videos on here. Comment below, let me know how you're getting on. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.